Hello everybody, I am finally testing my blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star. Um, I got this for my birthday, my husband and his friend planned it as a surprise. Look how beautiful it is. I have opened it, but I haven't swatched any or touched any. I, it's like killed me resisting because I got it, oh, like a couple of days after my birthday. Um, look how beautiful the packaging is, it's the little clasps and oh it's so pretty there's all the shadows i'm going to quickly swatch them and then um do a it's going to have to be a red eye look this is the top row this is glucose sugar cane cake mix that's the first ones these are like the nudie nudie browns it's glucose sugar cake no sugar cane rather I wonder about cake mix because there's cake mix next to it uh, someone gave me some tips on one of my last videos to get more on my finger when I'm swatching so I'm doing that this time this is ouch donor and intravenous which is got oh wow <laughs> they're so pigmented um ouch donor whoa <laughs> um and this is intravenous that's those then we've got the second row where am i gonna put these <laughs> i'll put those there this is the second row candy floss oh that candy floss is really soft and i've just totally ruined that um tongue pop and sweetener put these here candy floss which is really soft and powdery and it feels lovely tongue pop nice nudie peach color and sweetener whoa it's a nice shimmer it's like a gold it's like a light, lighter version of donut oh bit of fallout <laughs> lighter vo version of donut that one and then we've got cavity which is the bright pink o positive which is like a teal color which is like my favorite and root canal which is the purple put those there that is cavity wow it's like the brightest shadow i own um o positive which is my favorite sort of color of eyeshadow and then root canal look at that i, I will get better at swatching i promise right bottom row no idea where i'm swatching this um prick cherry soda and fresh meat i just love this red row right we're going here uh prick just the deep bright red cherry soda deeper whoa that's so pretty ignore my swatching it's prettier than i'm giving it credit for and then fresh meat oh that is definitely going on my eyelids today i've got to do a red look because it's blood sugar i have to for my first time then there's blood sugar which is really soft and powdery extraction and coma blood sugar extraction and coma i really like these shades these are all or this whole row is going on my face today look at my fingers from swatching how pigmented that is i need something to wipe that off with where's my little where's my little eco scrubby i'm using these for everything at the moment i've got a bit of makeup remover on here and i'm just using it to the link will be below to buy these and they're in my last two videos if you want to know what they are right oh no i need to wipe this off quickly <laughs> i'm just gonna wipe my swatches off and then i'm gonna get in stuck into the palette so excited can you tell i'm excited i have literally wanted this palette since i started watching jeffree star which was like last year it's so pigmented it's like dyed in my arm <laughs> oh this is glamorous you've got to me scrub my arm off right that'll do i think let's get stuck in <laughs> right i'm gonna do a red eye as i said i'm gonna use the mirror from the palette as well because it's beautiful um, i'm gonna start with running 
the transition shade. I'm going to use my Real Techniques brushes to start with, but I probably will branch out to some other ones. Get comfy. My hair out of the way a bit. Right, I'm going to go into O Positive, which is the main reason I wanted this palette. Um, o Positive is the like tealy shade here, just as a transition shade. Trans transition shade. <laughs> you can tell it's early in the morning. And then blend that all in. This brush is really like dense. It's not as it's not like the perfect fluffy brush. I may use a fluffier brush in a minute. This will do for for the transition. And this isn't a tutorial or anything like that. I am literally just playing with the palette. <laughs> Hoping that I can create, create something nice. Right, that's O positive. Even that is like a transition shade. It's really pigmented. White, going in for a red. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna start with cherry soda for the crease. Bearing in mind, I don't know what I'm doing. It's the first time I've used red for years. I used to wear a lot of red eyeshadow when I was like more gothic. Why have I got the brush at a funny angle? Okay. Oh my god. That is so pigmented. That's like one tiny dip. Oh my god, I love it already. Right, I'm going in again for a bit more. This is going to look really messy at first. But as you know, I've got like really deep hooded eye, so I go into the crease and then above slightly, and then I'm going to blend that all out in a minute. The cherry pop. And I'm literally like pressing where I want the pigment. It's so pigmented. It's insane into the crease so not quite into the inner corner whoa I've got a bit of I'll touch that up with concealer in a minute that's so pretty I can't get over it I'm gonna do the same the other side and I'm gonna blend out blend out the edge gone a bit higher on it oh, haven't I tiny bit more not that I even need it oh my god I love it oh I need to wear red eyeshadow anymore I knew I'd love it Sorry I'm so quiet, I'm just really enjoying using this palette. Right, that's the first bit. Look at the brush. Look at that, it's like, it's dyed forever now. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna take the crease brush again, and dip it into prick gently because it's so pigmented. And then I'm gonna blend over the edge. Ooh, I'm gonna soften that in a minute. It's so pretty. They are literally so pigmented. I can't, I'm, how many times am I gonna say pigmented in this video? Right, and then I'm gonna take glucose, just a tiny bit, cause even that's, that's like white, white. Blend over the edge a bit more. It's so probably too big a brush, really. But we go. We're really going for it today because I mean, it's blood sugar. We have to. Yeah, I think I just need to deepen that little bit here a bit. Gone a bit further this side. A 
a little bit there. I touched over that with concealer in a minute. <laughs> I never do a lot of tidying up with concealer. Look at that. Where's my concealer gone? I don't even know where my concealer is. I've got it. I've got it. Trust me to touch my face with it. Right. Tiny bit on a brush. This is a tatty quick fix. Got so many quick and easy tips from her. There. Gone and you'd never know. So I'm just going to do that here as well. Where I went over where I wanted to go a little bit. There we go. Can't even tell where I slipped a little bit. Alright, let's put that to one side. We may need that again. I really love it so far though. It's like really smoky and right. I'm just gonna take an even softer. Where did I put it ready? Yeah, softer fluffy brush. This is better. Blend over the edge again. As you can see, I've gone a lot higher than I normally would, but when I look straight on looks right they're literally just softening any harsh harsh lines before I darken it up a bit oh, I really like that that is so I just can't get over how pigmented it is right I'm gonna take the the brush that's got like loads on I need a tissue and I haven't got any right let's go on the back of my hand I've got to show you how much pigment comes off of this and it's still jet red as well <laughs> right anyway at least a bit off right now i'm going to go into fresh meat which is like the purpley burgundy pink pink burgundy red shade for that outer corner I'll tap off my brush i'm literally just going to concentrate this on the outer corner going a bit higher than i normally would to keep in the get over how pigmented these is they, they, these is they're gorgeous I love this I love playing with colour so pretty well you can see the same the other side I love how it's almost made its own um, halo eye as well. So pretty. I'm going to buff over in a minute. Right, and then blood sugar. Is that the shimmery one? Yeah. Right, blood sugar. I'm just going to take my finger and pack that on the rest of the lid. Where I haven't put anything else yet. It's almost like a matte shimmer. It's like my perfect shimmer because it's not, just look at that, because it's not too shimmery, if that makes sense. Well, that sounds like a conda. Right, and then I'm just going to take another little inner corner brush, fluffy brush. Ah, that'll do. Little brush for the inner corner, and I'm not going to put anything there. I'm just going to blend out these colours, and then I'm going to put a bit of white. I mean, I am going to put something there, but I mean, not yet. Blend it. Blend the edges again. This is just like my first attempt with the palette as well. I obviously will get a bit more adventurous. But I really just wanted to play with the reds today. Just smoke that out a little bit. Oh, I really like it. So dramatic. <laughs> gonna do the bottom lash line in a sec right i'm just gonna take a bit of glow coast and blend that into the inner corner oh I, I knew that would look nice 
Because I'm basically just using the colours but brightening them up a bit. I'm just going to keep doing that till I'm happy. That's all soft and blended. I love it. Right, I'm just going to touch up this outer corner again because it's... Oh, brushes are going everywhere. Don't need those now anyway. <laughs> so I can see there again. I love this so much. Right, I'm just going to take a tiny bit... I just need like a really flat little brush. Right, I'm just going to take a little bit of Coma. That's like the deepest purpley red at the end, this one. Um, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that on this like flat little brush and just like the tiniest bit along the lash line like the, the outer literally just along here not all the way in just to deepen that a tiny bit before I put mascara on and I do underneath So it almost looks like I've got a little bit of liner on. Oh yes. That is so nice. And it looks like they're not even, but it's just because there's not as much light from this side so it looks darker. Just so you know. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take... I need a little brush to run underneath. Uh, oh yeah. I'm going to take the Real Techniques Detailer brush. And I'm going to run a little bit of Cherry sh Shoulder. I did it again cherry soda underneath because that's the colour I started with so I've done that like quite quite tight and then on the other side and then like join it up with coma to that little bit that I did to make like a little so it's almost like eyeliner and I've made like a tiny little flick I'm just going to do the same the other side. Oh, I can never get the flick as neat this side. Annoying. Alright, I'm going to have to blend this side out because I can't get it that, that neat the other side. Meh, so I've just softened it. I'm just gonna take where's my little fluffy brush gone? My little fluffy brush and just like buff over that because it's a little bit like harsh. It's picking up harsher in the camera than it is in in person. Right, and then I'm just gonna take a bit more coma, run that underneath. My eyes water in this side as well. Nightmare. Right, then I need the fluffy brush again. I'm just going to smoke that out. What should I use? I might use a bit of bone positive underneath. Or prick. No, I'm going to use a bit of fresh meat, which is what I used to deepen that. Oh, that was a good choice. A little bit more. <laughs> I love this so much. Um, on the finer side, I'm just going to take a bit more of... On this side, I'm just going to take a bit more of the glucose. I got lost in what I was doing then. 
and actually tuck that on the first little bit just here oh, my hair looks awful why did i put that stuff on it before i started it is clean i promise <laughs> look at that I'm really happy with the eye look. I love it. I'm just going to make sure the bits... It looks like it's not buffed on camera, but it is. It's just the light. The light's messing with it. That looks so cool, though. Right, I'm just going to take a bit more glucose. Just pat that. Glucose seems to, like, sink in a little bit, almost. Like, mix with the other ones. Oh, I love that glowy bit in the corner. Can you tell I like it? <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Put it away now. <laughs> Stop playing with it. I could keep adding and adding and blending and Yeah. Right. So that was my just my first quick little red eye little play with it. And I'm just going to put some lipstick on to finish. Finish the look. So, oh, mascara. Almost. I almost <laughs> managed to get through a video without forgetting something. Right, mascara first, then lipstick. I've got a special lipstick to put on. Because we're going for a red look, so that should give you a clue. This is just my Lash Paradise, obviously. As if I'd use anything else today. And yeah, I do put quite a lot on. <laughs> Nearly there. been so quiet today i'm so sorry just really like enjoying the makeup today i've wanted to play with this palette for like a couple of weeks so it's just been <laughs> just wanted to get stuck into the palette oh no is it transferred oh no we're all right right i should put some on the bottom lash line really but it always makes me look crazy but i mean <laughs> this is like a lot more Bampy than I'd wear on a day to day, but I definitely would wear this. And that's why I kept like my face makeup really simple. I just tried to put that into the lipstick because I opened it ready at the same time. Honestly, I'm doing well today and nearly under 25 minutes. Not bad, not bad for me. That looks so cool. I wasn't sure about this red because it's a slightly different red, but it looks really good, especially with the grey hair as well. It's so bright, this red. It's insane how bright the camera picks it up. But I really wanted to do like a, a whole like red, red thing going on. Um, that was the, uh, obviously I was upside down, uh, Colour Crush uh, lipstick from Body Shop in 101, I think. I, think. I don't know if that's the shade or the, I don't know. But yeah, that's the lipstick anyway. And that's the finished look and I am like so happy with it. I can't wait to play with like the smokier shades, the other shit. I just can't wait to try, but I had to do red for the first one and I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like this video, I do hauls and makeup testing, different looks. Um, 
so yeah if you enjoyed it like and subscribe so you don't miss any and click the little notification bell and i'll see you in the next one bye